Wireless video transmission systems used to be expensive, but thanks to Chinese manufacturer Holyland, we have this, a more affordable system packing features good enough for the prosumer market, the Holyland Mars 400S. In the last couple of years, the Chinese manufacturer Holyland became very popular with affordable wireless video transmission systems, like the Mars 300. The brand listened carefully to the customer's feedback and this new Holyland Mars 400S system addresses a lot of issues of the previous model, bringing it closer to the prosumer market. The system comes as a transmitter and receiver pair which look fairly simple and straightforward. They have a metal body construction which is great for heat dissipation, with an OLED display on the front, alongside three buttons for navigating through the menu system which we'll revisit shortly. Otherwise on one side we find a USB Type-C port, along with a Type-C to Type-A converter included within the package, used to apply firmware updates, and just below the transmitter has HDMI and SDI inputs while the receiver incorporates the same two as outputs. Connections do not need to be like for like either, so you can for example have an SDI input lead to a HDMI output and vice versa, and it's these SDI connections which, in my opinion, place this in more the prosumer category considering they're generally for higher end equipment. On the opposite side we have a DC power input alongside the unit's main power switch, while on the top we find a vent for a small internal fan along with a pair of standard male SMA antenna sockets for screwing on female SMA antennas. Even though only four antennas are needed, two per device, Holyland actually includes five of them in the box so that you have a spare in case you lose or break one. All in all, both the transmitter and receiver are solidly built, very robust thanks to that metal construction, yet are relatively lightweight too. Power is supplied via a Sony NPF battery, and even though I've been testing with a 550, that's still ample enough to get through pretty much a whole day's worth of use. Of course, we do have an external power adapter supplied within the box too, with a handy screw-in-place connector, although there's only one adapter included within the package, so most likely used at the receiver end alongside your monitor, while I'd imagine most would use a battery at the transmitter end to keep you mobile while connected to your source. Talking of the source, the most common scenario is to attach to your camera or shooting gear. Thankfully, this is made easy with the metal quarter inch 20 mounts incorporated into the bottom of each device. A cold shoe adapter is included within the package to mount the transmitter to your camera, although to keep things more streamlined you'll want to use the supplied L bracket mount and thumb screw on the bottom. Now allowing you to attach the transmitter to your camera while laying flat for a more streamlined look. In this orientation you don't have easy access to the screen, but you do have easy access to the battery tray should you need to replace batteries during a lengthy shoot. Note that there is a cooling fan inside both the transmitter and receiver though, so you'll want to be careful with your microphone placement, although the fans aren't very loud, but a point to note regardless. Once cabled up, establishing a connection is pretty simple too. Simply power up both units and the receiver will look for a transmitter with an active signal and connect to it. If you're in an area with a lot of interference, you can manually perform a channel scan to find the best channel to use. Alternatively, manual channel selection is also an option. To transmit video, the Mars 400S uses a 5 GHz frequency band with up to 400 feet, that's 120 meters, line of sight range. According to Holyland, the latency is less than 0.1 second, and as you can see in the example here, it's really not too bad at all. The menu system is pretty standard on both devices and displays information such as a low battery warning indicator when the battery is too low, about 30 minutes before it dies. Also it indicates the channel you're using, the strength of the signal, and the resolution and frame rate of the signal input. Bear in mind however that while only one receiver is included in the kit, the Mars 400S transmitter actually can support two of them simultaneously, with extra receivers available to buy separately, but what's even more impressive is that it also supports streaming to up to four mobile devices too. To connect from your mobile device, you scan a QR code on the back of the transmitter using the Hollyview app, and it's all pretty straightforward and relatively quick. Once connected, you'll be able to use various camera assist features including waveform, histogram, 
focus peaking and various others. It even has 3D LUT support. In addition, you can even annotate a still shot or record video clips straight to your mobile device. Perhaps useful if you want to grab a quick something to post to social media. Now I'm testing with a 4K TV screen here and throughout my testing everything worked without hiccup, even when it was from a laptop to a TV at full HD resolutions, making this system versatile enough to be used in a range of different scenarios. Even more so when connected to a field monitor for use outdoors with a range of up to 400 feet. Overall though, the Holyland Mars 400S is a very nice system. There are less expensive video transmission systems out there, but none that are as reliable, in my experience anyway. Sure, there are higher end systems out there offering more range, higher resolution, and all the bells and whistles, but you're going to be paying significantly more money to acquire one. The Mars 400S sets the bar, really, for a low cost, high quality video transmission system offering both HDMI and SDI. If you know you'll never need SDI, you can save a little money by going with the HDMI only version, the Mars 400, which also offers HDMI pass through on the transmitter and a pair of HDMI outputs on the receiver. But if you're a consumer or prosumer serious about your filmmaking and need a video transmission system, this is certainly the one to go for.